All right, guys, we're on page seven. It's Harvey from All Parts. This I see a lot. High salt on. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I would say 98% of the time I have seen this. It is not a failure. The system's doing its job. You just dumped too much salt in, okay, usually. And how you tell about that before it goes to high, we go back a couple of pages and we check our amperage. And just before it goes high, you'll see your amperage go and spike up to 18 or whatever, and she'll just shut down and say high. But Keep in mind, and somewhere I saw this, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, okay. Remember when I told you you need a separate tester for salt? Because these things are not one always 100% right. You have a salt system, you buy a salt meter. I really don't like the salt strips. They're just not accurate. I bought them. I didn't like them. You had to soak them in for 40 seconds. You had to count 40 seconds. And then you look at it. It's really off. I spend the money and buy a meter. But that's me. Okay. I like my meter. I use my meter all the time. All the time. So anyway... And this is if your salt, high salt cell is on. You can go back and tell if the amperage is too high. But keep in mind, you have to do, you got to shut down the unit and you got to ask it to turn on. You got to be right quick to ask it for the running amperage because once it goes high, it shuts down totally. So you'll see your transformer voltage up in the 30s, and you'll see your cell amperage at zero. Well, Harvey, I tried to check my cell amperage, and there's no amperage. Because you got to do it right away before you get this high salt. Okay? Just want to let you know how it's out there. And if you got high salt, you got to add water. How much water determines your salt level. And then you go into your book. You figure out how big your pool is. And then you subtract. And that's how many hundreds or thousands of gallons you put in. I had a man three years ago dumped 40 50 pound bags of salt in a 6,000 gallon pool that already had salt in it because it said low and he read, misread the chart and he put 40, 50 pound bags in. We must have added water to that pool for, I don't know, it had to be a good five days. Reason why I would have liked to drain it and start all over again, we were on a high flood plain, and I didn't want his fiberglass pool to become a boat and pop out of the concrete. So we turned on our water and like to see a water bill. Yeah. Uh, must have been a water bill because we had it running for a good five days. So it's little mistakes like that. Just go, oh well, made a mistake. We're all human. How do I fix it? That's how you fix it, by adding water and knowing what your salt level is. And some of these salt meters I'm talking about, you get in the high salt range and you'll just overload it and you're going to go, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I need to stick the hose in and wait till tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys. That's, uh, we're on page seven. 
We're going to do page eight. 